guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to give you guys five tips on how to grow out your long natural hair or to actually get long natural hair um, this doesn't have to be like you know a certain length or anything just you know sometimes people just want to grow their hair out um, I know that a lot of people make it like it's a bad thing like oh you shouldn't focus on growth um, you shouldn't focus on growth because health should be before that but there are some people who just want to grow their hair out long and healthy and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and give you guys five of my um main tips when it comes to growing your hair out but there is a twist to this video because i'm going to be naming off five things that you can do yourself so do it yourself um like things that you can do to grow out your hair so if you are not wanting to buy products if you want to do everything yourself this video is for you or if you just want to have in between like me where i actually have products that are store-bought but i also do do it yourself products a lot and you guys already know that because it has been across my channel for years so anyways let's go ahead and get into the first way I absolutely can attest to that will grow your hair this first one is one that most people already know about um, there are some people who are still kind of against it but I'm not sure why but I won't even get into that in this video but the first way to absolutely grow your hair is to have oil mixes oh my gosh oil mixes will allow your hair to grow so long so um, always keep oils on hand um, you can do like a regular oil like this one where you're literally just using a pure oil I will say that it's better to like mix oils but using a pure oil is not bad as well and also to actually get an oil mix now you can make your own or you can actually get one from a trusted brand of course I have the Norwich by Chante growth oil here and I also like this growth oil which is by the innate life um, and she has like 15 different oils in here and they're all organic oils and in my actual oil mix I have about seven to eight oils and they are mostly organic and this mixture as well um, so both of these are really good so the thing with oils is um, I feel that they just do a lot of groundwork in your hair so when you're done with like your wash routine um, it seals in the moisture it allows your hair to flourish as far as the shine goes and it also has a lot of benefits from the all the oils that are in the mixture so antioxidants it has like um, a lot of vitamins and minerals like a lot of things that is essential for your hair health is inside of like oils and then when you combine them all together it just makes it a really powerful mix so that's why I say to stand by um, if you like oils to stand by oil mixes um, I've been using them since I first went natural and they were really life-changing within my journey The next thing I want to mention is DIY deep conditioners. Now, when it comes to DIY deep conditioners, there are certain recipes I feel that work better for some people and work better for me as well. So I love, love, love making DIY deep conditioners. The only thing about it is they can be messy and time consuming, so I don't do them as much as I used to because I'm just like oh girl like my hair is so much longer too so it just I don't do them as much as I used to but DIY um, deep conditioners really did like make my hair journey a lot more fun because I was just mixing stuff together and also it made it a lot I wouldn't well yeah I would say it made it a lot easier because I was able to know what exactly was going into my deep conditioners and also my know what my hair loved and what my hair did not love. So when it comes to DIY deep conditioners, like that is like amazing. My favorites are when it comes to ingredients are banana, avocado, coconut milk, and water. And also if you have damaged hair protein treatments, when my hair, when I first went natural, my hair was so damaged from the heat. And to bring some of my curls like back to life, I did a lot of protein treatments and overall overall I did a lot of um, like egg treatments um, so of course I don't do that anymore but egg treatments really did help me I already mentioned that in a couple of my videos 
um, I really do think that like mixing coconut oil and eggs together when you have damaged hair is like it's going to really help you. So, as far as just getting your hair back to health with um, things that are in your kitchen, it's really self-explanatory when you start to do it after a while. Yeah, DIY deep conditioners, deep conditioning in general, really does make your hair come to life and make your hair journey a lot easier and of course helps your hair to grow, especially avocados, really good for hair growth. So the next thing I'm gonna mention is clay masks. Clay masks are, I wouldn't say they're underrated, but they kind of are because a lot of times people use clay masks, but they don't really talk about it as much because clay masks are super messy and they're also time consuming. So I am guessing, I'm just going off of how I actually feel. I'm guessing that a lot of people don't do clay masks as often because it's like, a luxury it's like okay I'm gonna do this clay mask for this month and then I'm gonna wait another mo month or two to do it again because clay masks can just be so messy and time-consuming which is why I don't put them on my channel a lot but you guys have seen um, my very very old video I'm not even sure if I still have it up um, of when I did the bentonite clay mask the thing is with clays um, the thing that I learned is you have to Okay, so for example, I used to think that clays were just like all hype. I was like, oh, I put it in my hair and I was like, this doesn't work. My hair feels dry and I just hated it. And then when I tried it again with mixing things to the clay mask, it actually turned out good. So when you do the clay mask, they, depending on what type of hair you have, they can make you your hair very, 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 very clean. Like it depending on what type of clay you make you use it can really clean your scalp so if you want a clay that's going to make your hair feel a lot more softer or is not going to be so harsh on your scalp you would want to add things to your clay now this is where it gets kind of costly because you want to make sure that you get really high quality clays like i have these here um and i also have some more um this is seaweed help powder and then i have hibiscus and some more um i definitely i have bentonite clay as well but i definitely think that when you add more to your mask it really does up the mask and makes the clay a lot better for your hair so what i mean by that is like adding in more powders adding in adding in oils adding in more herbs to the to the clay to like doctor it up which in turn can kind of make the clay mask more expensive so you may find yourself saying that you want to save money by not buying products and get the clay mask and then but then after you're done buying all those uh, ingredients to make the clay mask actually a good mask for your hair this is if you don't want to use the clay by itself you'll probably realize that <laughs> it's um it is a luxury and because all those powders and oils and stuff that you have to buy to doctor, doctor up the clay um, can be very expensive. But if you guys want me to, I can put up a video of how I make my clay mask or um, give you guys some recommendations. So let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see a video like that. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to mention is actual scalp massages and it's even better if you do a DIY scalp massage with a oil mix um, onto your scalp and then massage. So I have this scalp massage right here. I've had this for a long time. I actually have a discount code down below if you guys want to check it out. You get 50% off the scalp massaging brush and all you have to do is click the link down below or use the code down below and you can get a 50% off of your scalp massaging brush. But this is absolutely amazing to have on hand, especially when you're in the shower. It feels so good on your scalp and it's just a nice little DIY scalp massager to have. It actually stimulates the scalp so the hair growth and retention can be a lot more easier and faster. So definitely 
definitely definitely scalp massages are so so good you can use the paddles of your hands but I find that my nails are very long and when I'm massaging my scalp in the shower it just feels like my nails are getting really soft and they're like ripping my hair I don't know I just don't really like doing it with my hands it kind of does feel like your fingers because of how like pointy it is but then again they're rubber so it doesn't hurt your scalp um, really 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 good brush to have okay so the last thing I want to mention is tea mix tea mixes really do help your hair to thrive and grow it also um, some teas help with uh, shedding so if you have excessive shedding tea mixes really do help with that now I don't have the utmost experience with tea mixes because I don't use them a lot. I think I only use a tea mix like once the entire time I've been natural. But I will say that I did like a seaweed type of tea in my hair before and my hair absolutely loved it. It turned out so soft. So definitely when it comes to tea mixes, they do work very good. The only thing with a tea mix is that again all of these are going to take time so you have to brew if you're using herbs you're gonna have to brew the tea you're gonna have to put the herbs together and figure out which tea you want to use and what type of herbs do you want to add to the tea do you just want to do an herbal tea or do you want to do a green tea or a black tea It just depends on like how much work you want to actually put into your growth routine and if you want your growth routine to kind of be like all natural and if you do not want your growth routine to be like so time consuming then you can definitely find natural brands um, like the ones I mentioned in this video um, and I also have some stuff linked down in the description box for you guys okay guys so I wanted to mention one thing that was in my last video I got so many comments from you guys when it came to my last video and I just wanted to address a few of those comments a lot of you mentioned that video that the think dirty app has a lot of conflicting information on it like as far as products that are clean and products that are dirty you felt that they were kind of conflicting on some of the products and i definitely seen one of the comments in that video where the girl mentioned that she had looked at two different products where one was um getting a zero for a score and the other one was getting like um four or something like that but she mentioned that it was kind of conflicting because those two products had pretty much the, sa the same ingredients as products that were getting like an eight and nine on the Think Dirty app. So if you guys like for me to make a video on that, so let me know down in the comment section because now that she brought that to my attention, I'm starting to see a little bit of stuff on there as well that's kind of conflicting. Um, so I love when you guys leave those type of comments and you know I never just take something that someone tries to like tell me and be like oh like no that's not right because I don't know it all and I don't try to appear like I know it all and so when you guys leave comments and tell me different things I definitely look into them yeah that was so left field but I just felt like I needed to put that in this video because I want to know if you guys will even be interested in seeing that type of video anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video um, these are definitely things that will help your hair growth journey i just wanted to put it on my channel for those of you who wanted a more natural approach when it comes to growing out your natural hair let me know down below your thoughts and i will see you guys in my next video this is probably a super super quick video because i didn't want to make it too drawn out and long thanks to you guys who have been voting for me i really really appreciate it and um yeah you guys are amazing so anyways i'll see you guys in my next video bye oh yeah i forgot to mention if you guys are um a lot of you guys have been asking when is the deep conditioner going to be back in stock it's going to be back in stock within these next few weeks so yeah if you're thinking what does that mean i do mean that it may roll over into march when um the deep conditioner is back into stock so guys please be patient with me i am going to be updating you guys especially if you're subscribed to the newsletter you're going to be the first one to know also if you want to really um you know, keep in touch, go ahead and follow the Norris by Chante account on Instagram, or you can do like a lot of people do and just check back on the website every now and then. Um, but the deep conditioner will be back. But for those of you who have been wanting the shampoo, it is back in stock and everything else is back in stock on my website. So you can head over to nourishbychante.com if you're interested in that. But yeah, okay, now I'm really leaving, okay? I'm like talking so much, bye.